Farnsworth. And I'm CJ Ward. It's been almost two years since Oxnard police shot an innocent bystander. And today, the department announced plans to mark the anniversary by designating the day. News Channel 3's Tracy Lair has been following this story and joins us live with the very latest. Tracy? Beth, it happened on a Saturday night, and Monday will mark the two-year anniversary of the police shooting that sparked protests. And now the day will be used to promote safety and anti-violence. In a violent traffic stop that resulted in a shootout in his La Colonia neighborhood. The 21-year-old was shot 21 times by nine officers. His family received nearly $7 million in a civil settlement, but officers were not criminally charged. As part of the settlement, Oxnard police and city leaders are designating October 13th as a day of community safety and anti-violence. We are committed to healing, process through the open and effective dialogue, and lastly, it is my hope, it is our hope, that by all of us working together in Alfonso Limon Jr.'s memory. But Limon's family says the gesture offers little comfort. I don't think that there's ever going to be anything that's going to make a difference for us. Um, there hasn't been any real accountability. You know, they, you heard that the district attorney didn't go with charging these officers. And it's tough to hear because we lost our loved one. The Oxnard PD also announced plans to have officers wear body cameras. Relatives are skeptical about them. You've seen in other cases where they do have body-worn cameras in other police departments and the evidence magically disappears or, you know, the video stopped recording. So we do need something to monitor. Activists are calling for a citizen's oversight committee to help, but the chief of police disagrees. I don't believe we need civilian oversight in the Oxnard Police Department. The community and the city council are our true oversight. A plaque will soon go up in Limon's memory. Told me that that plaque will go on Garfield Avenue, where Limon was fatally shot to death. In Santa Barbara, Tracy Lair, News Channel 3. All right, thank you, Tracy. And